Welcome to the West Foundation Social Enterprise Vlog, Social Entity, What's the Haps 2? Let's hope it doesn't have the same connotations of the number 2 and isn't poo. So, time to fill you in on what's been going on like Donkey Kong and we'll kick off with my patch, eBay. Well, it's been a busy month. While business has ticked over as usual, we've had a week of a student from Southbrook School who undertook some work experience, which he took to like a bird to the sky and managed to complete tasks in all area of the eBay setup. Online now and on our Facebook page, which you can see details of below, you can see a virtual tour of the eBay setup and be guided round while you find out how we've adapted the environment to suit visual impairments. This can also be seen on our app. Again, details below. We've now got promotions live on our eBay shop, including 25% off when you buy three or more records and save £5 when you spend £20 on select women's fashion. You can now also add us to your favourite sellers with a quick link on the shop banner, see the link below. I'm also going to plug the eBay trader system where staff at West can give us their stuff and we sell it for them for a mere 35% of the final money raised while doing the research, the listing, the photography and answering any queries and posting it out. Selected listings we've currently got live are this set of VW Caravelle seats in this 120GB iPod classic in its original box and in good working order. Well, Ben's time with us has been and gone with him rounding up his year's internship, just recently helped out on a plant and eBay store during Westfest. When asked about his intern experience, he said he feels a lot more confident, gained more self-worth, and is hopeful that he can seek paid employment in the future. He certainly got used to the office atmosphere and really enjoyed the office banter. A massive thank you to him for all his hard work for the year and good luck with the future, Ben. Bang on over to Facebook to see a short video of Ben being presented with a certificate for all his hard work. On to the shops. So we'll start with Heavitry, who have recently had a virtual tour. This can be seen on our Facebook page again with Sidwell Street's virtual tour as well. Heavitry are currently pushing out through Facebook a Moses basket, a health lamp, and a Philips CD stereo, as well as much, much more. In Sidwell Street, James, who undertook a paid traineeship, recently has finished his six month stint. He enjoyed his time in the shop so much that he's decided to volunteer and continue his retail development. He believes he's gained some good transferable skills that he thinks will prove useful for future employment. Well done, James. Likewise, Carrick Street are just undertaking a traineeship. This too is going well, and she's enjoying her time working with the team. They've also received a bunch of flowers from someone for being such an awesome shop and took to the spirit of the World Cup and produced an awesome football related window that included some vintage Sabutio sets. On a turn all about the hot shoes and are pushing a Wade Westminster piggy bank through Facebook and they've also celebrated their 10 year volunteer Gareth who's just completed the 5k inflatable charity run and raised a substantial amount for West. And Sharon at Sidmouth has been taking some Duke of Edinburgh guys under her wing and is showing them the ways of window displays with more quality displays on show. On to the Green Fingered and we'll start with West Hill. Patrick's been praying for rain and cursing the rabbits. His recent blog, which you can see with the address below, goes through what a struggle it's been in 2018 with a snowy cold winter and a baking hot summer. The land is still looking great however and you can see this for yourself with a virtual tour which can be seen on our Facebook page soon. He's also had an open day and the students of West have been using the land once again. He's also been working close with Rory who's been working hard to help out at the land. On to West Horticultural Project and Dylan's been busy making volunteer groups busy. Positive Pathways from Exeter College made a good start on the Wildlife Garden. He's also recently had the Ex Insurance Group come up and lend a hand as well as NCS Exit University students lend their energy to the project. He's defined some more path, prepped some more ground and started on the cracking water feature. A silver birch has been removed and the logs were put to good use with a lovely seating area. You can also see a virtual tour of this coming soon to Facebook. News. It's been a busy old time lately. We've had Dan, Maria and Andrea all start a course in customer service. I know Andrea and Maria have already finished and Dan isn't far behind them. The free West Social Enterprise app, West CD has undertaken an update. Check it out by downloading it free on the Apple and Android stores. We started using Devonshire Lavenders as a supplier for our plants in Heverton and Honiton. Swing by and check them out. And of course, we've had the charity retail award. Sadly, we didn't bring home the bacon as it were, but being shortlisted in such competitive categories was truly an achievement. And what we did bring home were good links with potential new partners, a great depth of knowledge and plenty of pens. Well, that's enough of me rabbiting on. Ciao for now. Until next time. Peace.